Today we're doing section 1.2, day 1, and we're discussing the basics of functions. So for the first example, we're going to be evaluating the function f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 5, and they want you to evaluate the function at the value of 2. So all this means is everywhere I see x, I substitute in the value of 2. So it's important to use parentheses, especially if the value is negative. And then we just follow our order of operations from here. So 2 squared will give us 4 plus 6 plus 5. And you just add straight across and you get 15. So this means when I input the value of 2, my output is 15. For letter B, our input is now a little bit more involved. Our input is now the quantity of x plus 3. So again, everywhere we see x, we substitute in x plus 3. So I have the quantity squared plus 3 times x plus 3, and then plus 5. Um, because this quantity is squared, I would write it twice. And then you're going to FOIL. For those of you who do the box method, you would write draw your box and put these on the outside. So if I do first, outer, inner, last, I'll get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. Over here we'll distribute, so then I have plus 3x plus 9, and then plus 5. Now we're going to go through and we add our like terms. So I have x squared. Here I have a bunch of x's. So I have 9x in the middle. And then I have 9 plus 5 plus another 9, so plus 23. So when I inputted the x plus 3, my output is the x squared plus 9x plus 23. Lastly, we're evaluating the function at a negative x. So I have the quantity of negative x squared plus 3 times negative x plus 5. When I have a negative x squared, that means negative x times negative x. So this will give me a positive x squared minus 3x plus 5. And this is as far as I go. I can't combine any of those, those terms. So for the next one, um, we're looking at a graph. So I know it's a little bit blurry on my end. Hopefully it's a little bit more clear on your handout. So we're talking about the T cell count versus the HIV infection. So your x-axis is scaled by time after years or after the infection measured in years, and the y-axis is your T-cell count. So for letter A, it says explain why f is a function. So f is a function because it passes the vertical line test, which we can abbreviate as VLT. So um, that just means, oops, would help if I wrote the right thing. So VLT. And that just means that if I draw a vertical line anywhere on the graph, notice it only passes one time, therefore it's passing the vertical line test. Um, for letter B, they want us to evaluate the function when x equals 8. So this means x equals 8, they want to know what y equals. So when x equals 8, I draw a line straight up, and then notice we go over. So we would say y equals 200, or you could say f of 8, which is the more proper way equals 200. Letter C says for what value of x is f of x equal to 350. So now they're giving you the y value. So they're telling you that y is equal to 350 and they want the x value. So 350 is somewhere around here and you go over and I would say it matches with an x equals 6 years. And then lastly letter D says describe the general trend. So I would say the T cell count drastically drops followed, um, so it drastically drops, then it increases followed by a steady decline. So notice after somewhat within that first year, it appears that you're starting to get better. And then after that year one, it's a steady decline. And so the uh, T cell count eventually diminishes. All right, so that's all for today.